I love to learn how to dream. That's just a big dream of mine right now. All right guys, so just got back to the apartment to go ahead on and start working on today's video. This video is actually super cool. It's Mr. Sam learning how to tune. He's been asking me about learning how to tune Holly and HP tuners for a while. So I figured we'd go ahead on and jump into the HP tuners video while I'm down here working on the giveaway truck again. We got super busy today and realized that I forgot to film an intro. Instead of worrying about it and going to the shop tomorrow and filming an intro, we're just gonna send it. I mean, you guys don't need an intro, uh, hopefully. So this first part of the video is Mr. Sam talking about how much he wants to tune. So let's go ahead on and dive in. I love to learn how to tune. That's just a big dream of mine right now. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through all the steps. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install HP tuners. So we need to go on your internet. Okay. Now, do you remember which one you're using? Are you using the Edge here or do you use the Firefox? I think now? I've been using Edge okay. on the thing. So. so let's double click on that. Which is the best, the Edge or the Firefox? I use Google Chrome, but I don't think it matters. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top and you're gonna type in www dot hp tuners dot com and just hit enter so what you're going to do is you're going to click on downloads right here and then you're going to scroll down here where it says download vcm suite and we're going to double click on that and it's kind of a big big, big download yeah okay but then once this is done we'll get it ready and then we're going to go over that tahoe over there and you're yes. going to tune you a tahoe that's just beautiful. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is like graduation day or something. I know it's just the start. Don't get me wrong, but you know, graduation day is when you go out into the world. Well, this is the start. Oh, man. It's great. <laughs> so, this is the Tahoe we're going to tune on today and pop the hood and show you what we got. So, y'all may have seen Garrett try to do a burnout in this thing. It's just a bone stock 5.3 Tahoe, except for it has a set of long tubes on it and it has a very broken motor mount. So, if you guys have watched our motor mount video, you'll know that that's one of the other reasons why this thing didn't want to do a burnout. But it's just a 2010 PPV Tahoe, nothing crazy. So let's go ahead on and jump in and we'll knock out this tune with Mr. Sam. So now all we gotta do is we're gonna go down here to the bottom, click the wrench. The ignition's on, engine's off, but ignition is on. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go up here to the top and click that green arrow. And you're gonna hit read. Yeah, so we've got engine mm -hmm. and then transmission mm -hmm. and then this fuel pump control module. So th what this right here is, is on the modern GM vehicles, they actually, the fuel pump, they don't have a regulator on these. And so the fuel pump is actually controlled by what they call pulse width modulation. So what they'll do is say they want 58 PSI, mm -hmm. they're actually turning on the pump and off the pump really rapidly. And they're maintaining that 58 PSI by doing it that way. So on and off rather than a constant yep. you know, regulator or something pushing against it. Yep, okay. so, we, so in this application, we don't have to touch that. But in some applications, like some of the Cadillacs, so like CTSVs, I'll have to turn that up. So, but what we're going to do is since we don't need it, I want you to click right here where it says read entire. Yeah, on the arrow or yep, just, just Yeah, just click it right there. It should be fine. And then we're going to go do not read. And see, we can do this because it's not in the process of reading that module yet. Uh -huh. So right now we're reading out the ECM. Mm -hmm. And this is our status bar down here. And then once it's done with the ECM, it'll read the TCM and we'll have everything. And then we'll save it. So this is extracting everything we need to know from this can truck. I, ECM, is that electronic countermeasures? What's that, what's that mean? Uh, engine control module. Engine control. Yep, there's a- Transmission control. Yeah, and they make, so ECM, and sometimes they'll call it PCM, where it'll be powertrain control okay. module. Yeah, there's a couple different acronyms for it. Okay. But yeah, it's engine control module. And then obviously that's transmission control module. So I call this, normally I call it a fuel pump control module, a FPCM, mm -hmm. but some of these they call it FS. So I'm assuming it's just fuel system control module. Mm -hmm. I don't know that for a fact, but I believe that's what it is. Let's see Matt's on it. Mm -hmm. I'd say Matt's on it, yeah. Now, is, is General Motors pretty good about sharing their stuff on these? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah, now sometimes on the giveaway truck and the C8 Corvette, this company, HP Tuners, they'll have to, uh, takes them a little while to get into it, but once they're into it, it's completely fine. I don't think General Motors is happy about us being able to tune the 2019 and newer stuff, but they'll be okay. <laughs> Goodness sakes. <laughs> so this Tahoe, this one's the one that does the four-cylinder mode? Yeah, where it, it comes up to speed and it alternates between a eight and four, depending yep. on whatever it yep. is. So they call it displacement on demand or they'll call it active fuel management. And so all the lights change and all that stuff, that means we're swapping over to the transmission control module now. 
So it, it turns off the ignition itself and then it gets us ready to actually read out. So we don't have to touch anything, it's just gonna keep doing it itself. But yeah, so we're gonna turn off the DOD on this thing because Garrett said when he's driving down the road with this exhaust, it just it starts to sound like a bumblebee. And so we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna increase the throttle response. What do you think of that system where it's got the eight, four, six, or whatever it is, you're holding that ground on, you like it? I mean, I think it when it works like it's supposed to, it's fine. Hmm. It's just a lot of times it don't work like it's supposed to. So like on these Tahoes right here, what they're bad about doing is that valley plate. Mm -hmm. That's where the oil goes through to the lifters yep. to actually deactivate the lifters. And so once they get some miles on there, the O-rings will actually shrink and it makes yeah. the valley plate loose. So then when it goes to activate four cylinder mode, the oil actually sprays out between the, they, I think they call it like a VLOM. And it's a, like a, I think it's valley lifter oil, I don't know, something like that. But anyways, the oil comes out between the block and that valley plate. And then so obviously you start to starve the lifters of oil and they get pissed off and... So there ain't none of us working out. Yeah. So anytime, like if anybody ever buys one of these trucks used, I always tell them to pull that intake manifold off and even just retorque the valley plate. And that'll usually solve lifter issues. But when it works like it's supposed to, it's good. Like the giveaway truck would have had all 16 lifters would have been the DOD stuff. So this one has eight lifters. The giveaway truck would have been 16. All right, so this thing's done. So what we're gonna do is, I've actually already done a read, but you can this, you can click this white PPV Tahoe. Mm -hmm. Just double click that, and all we're doing is we're gonna save this into a folder. So you can just click this right here. Because like I said, I'd already pulled the read out last week when we were talking about doing this, mm -hmm. but we're gonna save <clears> it. So now that that's clicked, it says down here this right file name, it's white PPV Tahoe read. Yeah. And we're just gonna click save. And you said yes because it's already exists. All right, so now we're looking in the software. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna turn off this DOD. So to do that, we're gonna go over here to engine. And now, so this is ECM. This engine diag is ECM. Then we have TCM, so trans and transmission diag. And then these are also in the ECM, this fuel system, system and speedo, this is also in the computer. So these tabs right here, this basically just kinda is like a, it's like a big version of like a manila folder where you, know, you open up your file cabinet and this is like the big tabs. So yeah. <clears throat> for, okay. for this, because we're turning off DOD, it's actually considered a fuel. So we're gonna click up here where it says fuel. So the DOD is considered a fuel? Yeah, it's under the fuel tab for some reason. And I don't know why. So then you'll see where it says lean fuel savings. Yeah. So we're gonna go over there and we're gonna click that. And then this is pretty simple. See where it just says DOD, so displacement on demand. Mm -hmm. See it's got the drop down, it says enable. You can click that and we can turn it off. So scroll over here to, yeah, it's right here on that arrow. Right. Yes, sir. And click it. Click it. Just yep. one. Okay. And then go down and disable. And that's all it takes to turn that off. That's on that DOD thing. Yes. Well, that's on the DOD <clears> thing. <throat> Even on. So this one was active, so now it's inactive. Correct. Wow. So now the truck's going to sound better because it's got the aftermarket exhaust on here. So if we say we just Man. wanted just to make that single change right there, all we have to do is you can come up here, you hit file up top. Yep. File. And we're going to go save as. Oh, here. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna go down to save as. Yep, click that. And then I'm just click down here and that'll unhighlight it. And then just delete the read part. Oh, just hit, yeah, just hit the backspace button over here. Mm -hmm. And we'll just delete where it says the word read. Okay. And then you can just type in, we can just call it like DOD off. So if you wanna type in DOD. You want it caps or just regular? It doesn't matter. And then hit save. All right, and we're gonna write this in. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna, now you're gonna click the red arrow up there and that's the right button. So the green one was the read and the red one's the right. So you right, right click here? Uh, no, you can still, no, just, no, just, okay. just left click it, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna have to add credits. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to show license options. Mm -hmm. One, one click. Yes, sir. Yeah, that'd be fine. And then you'll see that on my cable, I don't have any credits available for this Tahoe. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to buy some. So you can go down over here and go to purchase credits online. All right, and then what we're gonna do is, right now my account's not logged in, so you can just click up here to my account, and when you click it, it should automatically log me in. You may have to double click that one. So now that we're logged in. So once we get your cable, you're not gonna have to choose it between a bunch of cables, but I got a couple cables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this drop down, and we're gonna find my cable. And mine's gonna be that bottom one out where it says the 093 at the end. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, click that. And then you're gonna click two credits. So just, that's, yep. You can either type it in or you can just arrow it up. Okay. All right, and then you're gonna hit add to cart. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down. You can just hit the down if you want, like the down arrow. And then we're gonna go to proceed checkout. 
and obviously I'm going to blur out all this stuff. All right, so now you can just arrow back down again. Obviously, you can put all your information in there and all mm -hmm. that stuff. But mine's already saved. So what we're going to do, yeah, we'll use my PayPal, so that's fine. So so that's already clicked. So all we have to do is click this. I have read and agreed to the general terms and conditions, and then we're going to scroll down a little bit more. And then you're going to click right here where it says, I'm not a robot, and then we'll click PayPal, and that's going to buy the credits for this thing. So a lot of these vehicles I'll have unlocked. But Tahoe's, a 2010 Tahoe is actually kind of a rare one. Like I'll This have, is a 10. Yeah. yeah, this is a 10. So I'll get, I'll get a bunch of 12 or 13s or a bunch of 07 or 08s. Just click PayPal balance and then complete purchase. But yeah, so so I don't get a, that many 10 Tahoes. Hmm. So all, almost all of my Tahoes are unlocked, but this one's just a weird version. <clears throat> so what happens is, is on these, every time, so a lot of these makes and models, you have to buy 12 credits to unlock that specific model year. Oh, really? But what's cool is they'll give you one credit every time you buy two. They'll give you one of those credits towards the unlimited unlocks. So what happens is I have to tune 24 of whatever your Tahoe it is, and then they unlock it. So I haven't, even in 18 years, I haven't tuned 24 or 2010 model Tahoes. Man. I've, I've tuned basically every other year Tahoe, but just 2010 is a weird one. So then now what we're going to do is you're going to click this wrench down here, and we're going to go back to our software. So now you can hit cancel because we don't have the credits on there just yet. So now we've got to get the credits to go onto the cable. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to help, and we have to resync the cable. And now what that's doing, so see where it says resync interface? Mm -hmm. And so this is going to log one click. Yep, one click. And so this is going to log on to their server, and it's going to see if we've got any purchase credits. Can you purchase credits and have them in reserve? You can. You purchase them when yeah, you Yeah, you can. There it is. It said two credits added. All right. So now we'll we'll plug in this cable. Now you can hit close. Key back on the truck. So it'll be key on, engine not on. Yep. And then now we'll hit the, the red. red arrow. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, you can go to show license options. And now it's going to show us the two credits available. So see the two credits yeah. available. And so once it populates, we'll go down to this ECM's number and we're going to license this computer. So it will take it a second. This is telling us our specific computer. And you see where it's two credits mm -hmm. there. So we're just going to click specific. And then we're going to hit OK. And this is just saying, are you sure? Yes, we're sure. So you're just going to go up here and click yes. And just give it a second and it'll, that should disappear. And now you're just going to hit right. And then I had to put full here. Yeah, it's Hold fine. On. It's fine. Just take it a second. There we go. Mm -hmm. So that's it. So this, what you just did is you just turned the DOD off on this truck. That is it. So now once this is done writing, I'll go in here and I'll show you how to make it do a little bit better burnout and stuff like that. Because Garrett wants this thing to go up on the rev limiter and part neutral. He wants it to have a higher rev limiter. So we're going to do all that stuff and you'll see how it's almost self-explanatory on that kind of stuff. So this is the part that's kind of complicated, just making sure you get the licenses done mm -hmm. and making sure you've read it out, you know, wrote it back into the vehicle correctly. That's almost the hardest part. The rest of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. And then so say since we just did an engine change, right now it's going to write out the ECM and the TCM because yeah. of how we have it set. If we wanted to change it, we could. We could actually hit tell it to do not write and it would save us about 30 seconds, but it's fine. It's just going to rewrite the TCM right now. Look at that. DOD. Yep. yep. There's a lot of guys that make a lot of side money just doing this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, Holly stuff, you know, you pretty much make a change and it's already wrote into it. You know, you can pretty much change everything live. So if you want to adjust the fueling of your car, you can actually adjust it and, and make the change live. Whereas this, we have to make the change and then write it out just like this every time. So this takes a, lo a lot longer of a process. Okay. But the end result's the same on both, just maybe a little quicker Correct. on that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's get in here and turn up his rev limiter a little bit. So we're going to click close, and then we're going to go. So rev limiter, they're still going to consider it a fuel. So you see where it says cut off and then DFCO. So DFCO is called, it's deceleration fuel cut off. So that's for like when you're lifting off the throttle. Right. So, but, but then the regular cut off, that's more like a rev limiter. So let's go ahead on and click that tab right there. And then, so he wants to turn up the rev limiter in neutral and park. So what we're gonna do is over here to the left, see where it says in gear over there? Right here, yeah. Yes, sir. So when you click that, it's gonna give us the list of what RPM limit is at each gear. So you see where neutral and park's only 4,000? Yeah. So that's the problem. So what do you think we should give him? 6,000? Let's give him six. Give him six, all right. So then all you gotta do is just see where it says neutral. Mm -hmm. You're gonna click where it says 4,000 right beside it. And then now just type in 6,000. And then you're gonna go down to park. And now once you make this change, see how it's turned pinkish? Okay, it's just yeah. letting you know that you've made that change. So park, do the same thing. Let's give them 6,000. And then you hit enter. 
or you can just click off of it. Either way, it'll change it. So you can just click anywhere. Just right there is fine. And there it is. So <laughs> this is the main rev yeah, limiter right here. And then there's like a cold engine rev limiter. So you know how Garrett likes to do cold revs? Oh my, yes. Should we let him do cold revs on this Let's one? Let's do it. I mean, if, right. if it goes out, he'll get him another <laughs> engine. <laughs> we'll go over to cold engine. And you'll see right now when you first start it, you know, it's got to be running for more than five seconds at least to get 6,000 RPM. Yeah. So we can just go ahead on and make this whole table 6,000. So what we're going to do is if we want to highlight this entire table, we can actually click, see that little box, yep, just above the axis, yep, over there, just a little bit farther up. That yeah, helps, so if you yeah. click right there, it actually highlights the entire table. Wow. So then just type in 6,000. Wow. And then hit enter or click away, whatever you want to do, and you'll see the change that's made. I thought I did. Uh oh. Let's do it again. There. Okay, cool. Let's see. So let's take away some of his torque management too. So we're going to go over here. Torque management is easy enough. It's actually under torque management. So we're just going to go over here to, to torque management just above it. Yep. So this one's got a torque limit built into the factory. On this body style truck, it actually heavily deadens the throttle pedal, makes it real like not responsive. Mm -hmm. So that limit's going to be right here. It's just torque limit two. And then just to the right of it, you'll see where it says enable. Mm -hmm. We can click that until it disable. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of the brake torque management. Now that, what that is, is that's like the factory safety for if the throttle gets stuck or something like that and you touch the brakes, it's supposed to limit the torque. Well, that, it obviously limits us from doing brake stands too. So we're gonna come over here. So we're gonna click the down arrow on this side. And then we're gonna change this to enable. Now the reason being is because this is telling us, it says disable by TCS. And TCS is traction control. So what happens is when we turn off traction control on this truck, now it's actually gonna disable the brake torque management as well. So by doing it this way, if traction control is on, mm -hmm. brake torque management works like normal, just a normal safe vehicle. Mm -hmm. You turn off traction control, you get to do the mm -hmm. fun stuff. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the torque limit that's allowed for that. So just below it, you see where it says brake torque limit? Yep. So click that. And what this is, is this is actual limit of foot pound of torque that the ECU lets us have when we're pushing on the brake. So you can go in that top left-hand corner again. And then, so on this ECU to disable, to make sure it's completely gone, the number is 6,042. So just type in 6,042 and then you hit enter. I can use the enter button here. Oh yeah, that's fine. And so see how it all went pink okay, again? Yeah, yeah. So that means that's disabled. So now the ECU is not gonna limit us whatsoever if we turn off traction control, we're not limited anymore. Take it right out of, yep. set, right out of its hands. Yep. So we're going to hit the X on that one. And then now we're, let's just save it as, let's save it as a burnout tune. So we're going to go up here to, up top to the file and go save as. And then you can just, we'll click off of there, delete the DOD off go part. To, go to here. Just delete that. And just see. Or you can just hit spacebar and type in burnout, whatever you want to call it. So, and this should be a burnout tune? Yeah, that works. So let's go over here and hit save. So we're going to key on the truck and let's load this tune in. So now we're going to hit the I red arrow. I thought I was going to start it. Oh. All right, and we can actually just go down here where it says right calibration on the TCM and we can tell it do not write. So click that. Just the whole thing and it'll tell yeah. it. And just go down to do not write. There you go. And then now we'll hit write. So now it's just going to write in just the ECM side of things. But then what we're going to do is once this is in, we'll pull up a data log of it. And so I'll show you how to get the data log started and we can kind of look at the mechanical condition of this truck. We can actually tell by, based off of fuel trims and things like that, I'll show you how to, how to know if this thing's actually in good shape or not. <laughs> and then if you want, if you want to go out there and do a burnout, you can do that too. That's amazing. Because <laughs> remember, I don't know if you remember, but this thing wouldn't do a burnout. No, it would not. All. It would not. Sorry about to it. Did. Yep. So it'll do a burnout now. It'll do the best it can, put it that way. Yeah. I mean, it's still an old, heavy Tahoe. You ever done a burnout in your black truck? Oh, yeah. Yeah? And it, but it's, it's got that rear end in it where it will let you go about three quarters of a turn mm -hmm. and tries to lock the other wheel. Oh, yeah, the G80? And it's, it's. They get to popping and making all kinds of It's hard on a turn, I think. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about this. I may be in here putting pieces back in this thing. Yeah. All right, so just hit close on that one. All right guys, so wrapping up a couple hours later, obviously I'm in a lazy boy now instead of being on the couch. Finishing up editing this video, I was gonna do the outro with Mr. Sam, which we did, but the Tahoe was just so loud. I mean, it's long tubes, X-pipe. I don't even think it has any mufflers on it. It was just so loud, it was hard to tell what we were talking about. So we went over the VCM scanner and I just kind of showed him, you know, what I see in, in fuel trims, what I see in ethanol content, what I see in oil pressure. Like the, the Tahoe only makes like 22 pounds of oil pressure 
cold, so it's not ideal. But we just went through that kind of stuff. It's obviously, this is stuff that I have shown you guys before and most of you guys understand, but it was cool to go through there with Mr. Sam. So anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video. This is my first video actually filming anything down here in Bradenton. So hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna add some more to this, but I'm just kind of getting new to doing videos around all my friends. Usually I just like let them film and then I'm just kind of cruising in the background. So anyways guys, I will see you guys in the next one.